hi guys and welcome back to my channel it's Vanessa here I know it's been forever since I posted a hair video but I noticed that like when I do hair videos I get a lot of views and I get a lot of people asking me a million questions so I decided to put together this actual hair routine that I do as far as washing conditioning um, just creating this style it's not hard I've been doing this style on my hair for literally over five years so I can do it with my eyes closed but so many of you have been asking me about it so I was like you know what I have to make a video dedicated to the mushroom cut the signature of Vanessa cut so if you're interested in seeing that as well as many other hair videos then go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and continue to watch what I like to use is the suave coconut oil infusion shampoo I like this because it's not harsh on the hair it doesn't really wash all of the oils out of your hair leaving your hair dry and then I like to use the Garnier Fructis color shield my hair is dyed black so I like to use some type of conditioner that treats color treated hair okay, so here I'm just taking my comb and I'm just running that conditioner through my hair then I'm taking a t-shirt and I like to use that to dry out any leftover conditioner. I'd rather use this than a towel because it actually isn't as harsh on the hair and locks in moisture. Then I use my IC hair polisher and I use this as a heat protectant slash moisturizer. Then I'm going with, in with my Nairobi Wrap and Shine and guys this is my favorite favorite setting lotion it literally transforms any shortcut and it makes it silky silky smooth and super super duper shiny and I'm just running this through the hair into the style that I desire so I'm wearing the mushroom cut so I'm going to just lay my hair on my face and lay the back of my hair down because I want it to be in a downward motion I don't want it to be sticking up and this Nairobi really locks it in place along with that heat protectant then I'm taking my mega wrap strips and I like to use the black ones because they just seem so much more official. And then I'm going to take one of those wraps and they're super duper big and I'm just going to wrap it all the way around my head. And I'm going to take another one and wrap it around the top of the head. And I'm going to make sure that it's nice and secure to the back of my head. And then I'm going to go ahead and secure it. I don't like to tie the ends because I don't want to get any dents in the hair. Then I'm going to take a blow dryer and just blow dry my hair flat. Now, I would usually sit under the dryer for a while, but instead I decided to use this dryer just to expedite the process. And then I'm going to unravel it and go ahead and just finish blow drying out any of the wet parts as you can see my hair is literally looking crazy but that's just the process and then I'm going to start adding my hair in so with this I like to part the hair in one straight line it doesn't have to be straight at all because it is going to be covered and then I'm going to take some cheap weave now this is just some pack weave that I got from that hair store but I'm going to measure it across my bang area because as you can see my bangs are a little bit thin I'm going to measure it cut it out and then I go through one more time to make sure it is measured correctly and then I want to fold it in half like so I like to kind of warm it up with my flat iron and then I go ahead and add the glue to it just so it's nice and tacky and then I like to split it in half so I can see what I'm doing and go ahead and add the track underneath the part because you don't want to put it on the part because you don't want it, the glue to get in your scalp some people frown upon this idea but it really is my method then I'm going to take my dryer on the cool setting and I'm going to secure that glue and that track in place so it does absolutely no sliding. Now for my favorite part, I'm going to take my scissors, we'll take the hair, and then I'm going to take my hair and I'm going to just twist it forward like so. And then I'm going to take my scissors and go ahead and cut a, a line as straight as possible. Now the reason why I do this is because I would like an arch of a brow that kind of wraps around my face. And this is how I achieve that look. I then go ahead and repeat the process until I have my desired length in the front. And I want it to look natural, so I went ahead and just did it one more time. As you can see, it is not perfect, but it does work. I'm telling you, this technique is so cool. So then I'm just going ahead and I'm cleaning up any of the areas that seem a little blunt. 
if that makes sense. And I'm no professional at all, you guys, so please just bear with me. Then I'm going to take my flat iron and just lightly run it through the areas where I have my hair and the weave so that it blends better together. Then I'm just combing it out really nicely. And now I'm about to go ahead and flat iron the rest of my hair using the same flat iron and um, this wide tooth comb. So I'm just running the flat iron through the hair nice and easy just shaping it up as much as possible. I've been doing this hairstyle for so long, you guys. I literally can do it with my eyes closed, but if you're really interested in this look, it's really, really easy to achieve. And I'm just going through the back of my hair, and I like to flat iron these pieces really, really tight because I want my curls to last a really long time. So I'm just going through and I'm curling them under really tightly, like so. It just all depends on you. The focus of this haircut is really the front. So whatever you do to the back is on you. And I do have a tail, so I do like to flip that thing on up. Then I'm just shaping it up, combing it out with my wide tooth combs. Wide tooth combs are the best for short hair. All right, so I put on my face and now let's get this hair together. So I just want to show you guys how I will style it right after I do my makeup and I'm headed out the door. So it's pretty much already done and ready. All I got to do is bump it up a little bit more just to make sure it's nice and right. Running my flat iron through it. Like this. I'm no hairstylist by far, but I just do what works for me. As far as the back is concerned, I kind of just like it to look really messy. I do have a tail, so I want to show you guys how I will curl that. So I just flip it up in the back. Like so. That pretty much bump it in the areas that are sticking up a little. And yeah guys, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's been a while since I posted. I've just been kind of busy, as you guys know. But I hope you guys like this hair video. Let me know if you like to see more short hair videos. because This is just like my signature look. Like this is the Vanessa style that I'm wearing. If I'm wearing my own hair, especially because it's getting a little warm outside, I do like to keep it spicy. Hello. So if you're interested in seeing any more hair looks, just go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. So yeah, I love you all so much and bye.